Welcome to Fishing Village Channel. Today we will take you around Baju Lot Sea Gypsies. Due to their nomadic, seafaring lifestyle, the Baju Lot are referred to as Sea Gypsies. You can find Sea Gypsies in Mabul, Boi Duling, Cebu, Maiga, Mantabu, Selikan, or Omadal. Popular annual celebration of their wonderful customs and traditions is the Regatta Leper. Few groups on earth can claim a stronger bond with the water than Borneo's famed Baju lot, who live a nomadic, nautical lifestyle their entire lives, seldom setting foot on land. Since they have been cruising the waterways of the Coral Triangle between Malaysia, the Philippines, and Indonesia for many generations, the Sea Gypsies are truly masters of the ocean. A sizable portion of the population still resides in wooden houseboats or stilt homes that were constructed on coral reefs close to the islands of Sempona. Many have abandoned their nomadic way of life in favor of settling down permanently on land in pursuit of more stability. The Baju Darat are the name given to this people. Despite this, many still continue to live in a gypsy-like manner, and it is claimed that there are more than 3,000 Baju lot in the Sempona area alone. According to a 2010 University Malaya Sabah approved study, the sea gypsies hardly often, if ever, set foot on dry land. When they do spend a night or two occasionally on solid ground, they frequently describe feeling landsick. They would only come ashore for business, preferring the sea. This could involve selling their catch, gathering water for drinking, gathering wood for boats, and even burying the deceased. By dusk, most people had made it back to their boats. Excellent free divers are the sea gypsies. Many people have perfected the skill of holding their breath for several minutes while free diving to depths of well over 20 meters. As they pursue fish, lobsters, sea cucumbers, tripang, and other aquatic animals, they do all of this. They live completely off the resources of the water, carrying on the tradition of their ancestors. In addition to being masters in diving and fishing, they are also adept at building leper, or pile huts, and boats. Technical leper boats with exquisite decorations are a staple of the well-known regatta leper celebration. The islands were largely undeveloped until the 1980. When Mabul Island and the region around Davel Bay, including the now famous Pulau Sipadan, were turned into a hotspot for ecotourism. 
the sole residents at the time were a few families from the Baju and Suluk ethnic groups. Today, the region has developed into a popular tourist attraction that draws vacationers and divers from all over the world. The situation facing the sea gypsies has, however, mainly remained unaltered. They have always been and remain, stateless, individuals. Since they have been determined to reside in the waters of the Sulu and Celebes Sea, rather than technically on territory belonging by any of the countries, the majority are not granted citizenship status by either Malaysia, Philippines, or Indonesia. Due to the need for students to have birth certificates and for both of their parents to have national identity cards, the majority of their kids do not have access to a formal education system. Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe, keep watching.